All right, today is January 11th. I want to talk about some of the stock market news that you might have missed today. So, first of all, let's look at QQQ. Big jump today. Went up quite a lot. It could just be a dead, dead cat bounce or maybe because um, Jerome Powell, his speech maybe calmed the market a little bit. So we don't know. We'll see what this week um, end up having, uh, what this week brings. Maybe it'll go back up. That would be nice. Um, let's see. Let's talk about Bitcoin next. So Bitcoin is actually uh, getting the death cross very soon. Depending on that's when the fifty. Uh, 50 day moving average crosses below the 200 day moving average. It's very close. So that usually signals a bear market. But um, as we can see here, back in June, this happened already. And, you know, the stock went down just a little bit more, but bounced back up and, and went to all time high. So who knows? Next, let's talk about <clears throat> energy continues to go up. Usually that's not a good sign. This means that people are still um, worried about inflation and it's not good for the economy. Um, next off, so this is the Virgin Orbit went up 30% today um, after they announced they're opening the launch window for its third commercial flight. And then um, a launch into low Earth orbit opens tomorrow, January the so some good news on that. I wonder if um, oh, Virgin Galactic didn't really go out today. That's interesting. Uh, what's next? Let's see. All right, so let's circle back to uh, Jerome Powell. He uh, have a confirmation hearing in front of Congress today. Um, he's uh, trying to ease the concerns and assert assure the public that the U.S. is ready for tighter monetary policy to tackle high inflation. Um, Powell stated the Fed's plan to conduct interest rate hikes and taper monthly uh, bond purchases, which um, we already know that's going to happen. Uh, previously, investors were worried about the Fed's aggressive tightening of monetary policy would result in the triple threat which is uh, reducing bond buying, tapering asset purchasing, and also increased interest rates all at once. But um, I guess Jerome Powell today kind of calmed the nerves a little bit by saying that it's going to be a, a gradual process, which is um, a good sign. Uh, so that's why the, I guess the TLT went up a tiny bit.
yeah, when interest rate goes up, TLT goes down. So, uh, what else? We talked about that. Uh, yeah, let's talk about Robinhood. Apparently, um, Robinhood is getting a a big fine from uh, Finra. They were ordered to pay fifty seven million fine due to the outages and misleading customers during um, market vol volatility in March two and twenty twenty. <clears throat> Doesn't seem to bother the stock that much, but I mean. Robin has been going down so much. And now it's only at a fourteen billion. The highest is eighty five dollars. Right now it's sixteen. Could be a buying opportunity. There's a increase in volume, trade volume. And the stock's been beaten down quite a lot, so there might be a, a trading opportunity here. Should keep an eye on it. Um, last thing I wanted to talk about is this uh, graph that I saw um, of all the politicians and their stocks, how they're doing compared to SPY. And as we can see, quite a lot of them are doing pretty well. And um, here's Nancy Pelosi doing great for herself. And then the highest, the top five is all Republican. Go figure. That's a pretty interesting chart. Anyways, that's all I have for the day. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow.